What a beautiful day for some nature photography. Lucky me! A bee and a flower in the same frame. Whoa! The pollen grain jumped from the flower onto the bumblebee without the bee having to touch them at all. How did the bee cast a spell on the pollen grains? With science, of course. More specifically, with electricity. Come on, let's figure out how. Zooming into our bumblebee, we can see that just like everything in the world, it is made up of tiny atoms, trillions and trillions of them. An atom is further made up of a nucleus and electrons around it. The nucleus carries a positive electric charge, while electrons carry a negative electric charge. Now, these electric charges are responsible for all the electricity in the world. So, is everything around us, including our friend, the bumblebee, electrified? <laughs> Not quite. In general, all atoms have an equal amount of positive and negative charge, which adds up to zero. Therefore, in normal situations, a bumblebee also has no total or net charge on it. In simple words, it is electrically neutral. However, when a bee flutters its wings, it does this really fast, up to 200 times per second. Because of this fast movement, air particles crash against the wings. As these crashing air particles rub against the bee, electrons in the bee gain energy to escape its body. As the bee loses some electrons, its total negative charge becomes less than its total positive charge. The bee is then said to have an overall or a net positive charge. This type of charging of a body by rubbing it is called charging by friction. So, how does a positively charged bee attract pollen grain towards itself? Let me show you. Okay, let's do something fun. How about I rub this balloon on my hair and see what it does to this pepper, okay? Voila! The pepper is attracted to the balloon. That's exactly how bees attract the pollen grains as well. A pollen grain is also made up of atoms, just like everything else. When a positively charged bee comes near a pollen grain, the negatively charged electrons in its atoms are attracted to the bee. This is because opposite or unlike electric charges attract each other. But the attraction of the positively charged bee is not so strong as to be able to pull the electrons out of their atoms. Some of the electrons just move closer to the bee and accumulate on the pollen grain side closer to the bee. As the negative charges collect nearer to the bee, the side of the pollen grain farther from the bee becomes positive for some time. However, notice that even though the charges have rearranged themselves within the pollen grain, its total charge is still zero. Not for long though. This farther positive side is connected to the earth via the whole plant. Because of this earthing, electrons from the earth rush into the pollen grain to meet those positive charges. But as these extra electrons from the earth enter the pollen grain, the total negative charge now becomes more than the total positive charge. In fact, this makes the pollen grain have a net negative charge. This type of charging of a body without touching is called charging by induction. The bee has charged the pollen grain by induction. The positively charged bee is now close 
to a negatively charged pollen grain. And you already know what happens when opposite charges come close to each other. They are attracted to each other. Under the effect of this attraction, the lighter pollen grain jumps up without the bee having to touch it at all. And now you learn how bees use electricity for attracting the pollen grains. By the way, how do you think the electricity used by bumblebees is different from the electricity powering your fans? Let us know in the comment section below. And for more such engaging videos and conceptual clarity, subscribe to our channel.